what's up, Goza worshippers? I have a snack pollution video, and I'm pretty excited about it. Everybody's going through mass hysteria. Dogs and cats living together. Ecto Cooler has returned after a very, very, very long hiatus uh, from the st uh, store shelves. Uh, of course, with uh, everybody talking about Ghostbusters, the remake coming out, uh, everyone's kind of, you know, at least excited over uh, Ghostbusters. And uh, Hi-C has brought the Ecto Cooler back, which is fantastic. Uh, I bought this two days ago, and I've been letting it cool in the refrigerator. So I have not touched this because I don't believe I have drank this maybe since 1990 or 89 or something like that. It's been a while. And I thought this would be a great occasion to just pull it out and drink it for the first time in front of you guys. And I'm just going to open this up. And let's see. Yeah. This came in this packaging. I think in uh, online you can order on cans, uh, but I got the fruit box version here. And uh, I am going to, since it's no fun to really like look at me drink through these uh, juice boxes, I'm going to have fun by uh, putting it in a wine glass. Although, you know, it's uh, it seems a little awkward just to drink out of a wine glass like this alone. So, um, would you be interested? Everybody. Hello. This is Lindsay, and uh, she was pretty excited about uh, drinking Ecto Cooler too. So uh, yeah, I haven't had it since mid '90s, probably in junior high. Yeah. Like maybe ninth grade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, God, ninth grade. Like. Yeah. Because I don't remember taking high C juice boxes much in high school. Yeah, I remember. I don't remember how. Oh, I think I drank it in those like can powder things or something like that. Uh, high C used to do, or man, I'm trying to remember. I juice boxes didn't exist back in the 80s, or at least not that I remember. Uh, so I think I had cans or like a big container or something like that. Uh, of course, they had Slimer on them, but these do yeah, not. Which is Slimer. I'm fine with no Slimer. Um, but uh, here, here's yours, and here is your wine glass. And let's see. I am a child of the 80s, not the 90s, so I assume these things poke like yeah, this. Yeah, you poke okay. it through a uh, little foil dot. There we go. Or if you want to pour it in, yeah. you go like this and you cut the corner off. Oh, okay. Pour it. Whoops. Ah. I think this will work. There we go. This is just for visual sake to... Because I want to see the green, you yes. know. I am definitely like Chief Wiggum from from uh, Simpsons. I can definitely taste the green. Give the scissors. Oh uh, yes, scissors. There we go. There you go. There you go. That's green, all right. Let's see. Do I want to go? All... Whoops. Ah. Yeah, maybe I should have cut it like you are doing it. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's... It's so green. <laughs> this is the greenest thing I've drank in a while. There we go. Ah. Oh, 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 oh you almost oh. there? Uh, let's see. <gasps> you didn't go over, did you? No. Jeez. Oh, it fits exactly... <laughs> one juice box will fit into a champagne flute. There. Important for information, kids. All right, garbage. Garbage. Let me just get to. Okay. Let's see. How did you open that again? Hmm? Let's see. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, you pulled the corner up. Yeah. And you cut the pointy part off. Like that? Yeah. Ah, just, you're right. I should have done it that way. It's so green. It's the greenest thing I've seen in a while. All right, there we go. Raw. <laughs> One juice box fits exactly into a champagne. Yes, one juice box equals one champagne. <laughs> so, you ready? Yes. Uh, what should we toast to? Uh, to many more years of Ghostbusters. Yes, exactly. Ah. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. It tastes like, yeah, middle school lunch. <laughs> you want to trade lunches while we're at it? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I can definitely... It is a little more... Orange. Orangey. You know, that's the thing, you know. When I was young, I didn't think about the orangeness of the flavor. I was... It was one of those stupid idiots that's just like, oh, it's green, so it has a green taste. Oh, it's not true. It's it's an R, It's a very lovely kind of sweet citrusy yep. kind of taste. And frankly, uh, I've been trying to think this week like what what it tasted like, and I was trying to remember the taste of it. And this is pretty close to what I remember. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, tastes like I remember it. Yeah, if they mucked with the uh, recipe. It, it's not anything noticeable, I, I can detect. Uh, it's very delicious. Oh. Mm. oh what do you think? It's good. Isn't it good? Oh, it's so good. Yeah. There we go. Man, I'm down in this. Oh. Uh, that was really good. It's weird. I don't think I've ever had it out of a juice box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I, in a cup. Yes, this is the way you definitely should drink Ecto Cooler. <clears throat> yeah. So you can see the green. Yes. Oh. Mm. It's the neonest green drink. Yeah. You know, we uh, these are from our uh, wedding, and um, now I'm kind of um, uh, regretting the fact that they didn't put this out before a wedding. I definitely would have had this. How cool would yes. that have Yes. We would have totally had this at our wedding. Because we had an October kind of Halloween theme to a, to our mm -hmm. wedding, and uh, I think this that would have been perfect. Yeah. It would have been beer and Coke and water and Ecto Cooler. Now, I know people uh, online have been using this in mixed drinks. Really? Uh, they've been mixing it with vodka oh. to make a Ecto Cooler adult beverage. <laughs> but I think it would also be good um, in a mimosa oh, with really? champagne. So make it a little fizzy and this and champagne. Because you mix uh, mimosa is orange juice and champagne. Usually. Oh. Okay. So this would be a little sweeter and green. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I almost feel like we should mix it up with this. I don't think that would be good. That would not be good? This is a... Uh, red wine. Party. Red wine? Yeah, it's red wine. I don't think it would be good <laughs> with orange. Oh, okay. All right, we will not mix red wine and green ecto cooler. No. All right. White I'm wine, maybe, but red wine's a different thing. Okay, so we do not recommend that. Uh, I, I think that's it. I don't know if I have anything else uh, for the Ecto Cooler oh, besides it's really delicious. It is delicious. It's so good. All right. I missed it. I'm glad it's back. I did too. And you know what? Uh, here's the thing. Like, I was one of those people who really loved it when it came out, and I didn't realize it was still around for a few more years. I mean, it lasted longer than um, than uh, the two films. So, like, the second film came out in '89. And the the real Ghostbusters cartoon lasted for a couple of years after that. And didn't they discontinue this in like ninety two or something like it that? It was the late nineties. Late nineties. That's yeah. amazing to me that uh, it lasted that long. That because I, I was drinking it in uh, middle school, so that was the mid nineties. Like yeah. Um, let's see, eighth grade was yes, yeah, I'm in the mid nineties. No, yeah. my brain's not working. Right that, now. That's pretty. That's pretty impressive, considering. Like, the Ghostbusters cartoon, I think, lasts until 92 or something like that. And uh, Extreme Ghostbusters started in, I think, 96, but around the time this kind of ended. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess this wasn't extreme enough for Extreme Ghostbusters. Guess not. Guess not, but it's fantastic for us. So, uh, I think that's it. Do you have anything else? Uh, no, just very tasty. If you can find it, get it. Yeah, that's true. That's the that's the important part right now. Like, if you can find it. I felt lucky. I walked into uh, the supermarket and just randomly found it. Uh, you can order it, from what I understand, uh, if you're impatient. Uh, but, you know, hey, if you can get it, it's worth it. So I think that's it for now. And push the button, Lindsay. <laughs>